Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we successfully started the quest involving the research lab. However, there is the matter of DJ Beaglar. It turns out that DJ completely disappears after 16 o'clock. Even if I don't waste too much time at the research lab, I won't get back here until after DJ disappears. Now, the reason why I wanted to go to the lab before talking to DJ is because I wanted to come in here to the Beaglore Master Bedroom and acquire Dex Beaglore's Spare Homicide Uniform. Because I'm kind of curious whether DJ will react to me differently if I'm wearing his dad's uniform. However, changing into the uniform means that I am no longer in the lab outfit, which means I would have to change back into that in order to go to the lab. Well, we're going to find out. Let's find out if he reacts differently to this outfit. He'll be in the kitchen. DJ Beagler is stuffing a sandwich into his rugged face. Let's talk to his rugged face. Hey, DJ, you're Dex's son, right? Mind if I talk to you a bit? Radical. Anyway. Hmm. I was expecting an option to talk about sports. Hold on a sec. I might have to experiment here. Maybe I actually do have reason to head into the living room and check out all the trophies. A pile of whack ball trophies. These all seem to belong to Dex Jr. He must be a talented athlete. Unlike someone I know. Hey! Alright, that should do it. Now let's talk about sports with him. So, you're an athlete? And we've had this conversation before. Whack a ball now and then, and this is going to allow us to become acquaintances with DJ. Beyond that, before I ask about his dad, let's check the fridge. This fridge is so cool. Evian has an ice maker. Make some ice! Ugh, this ice cube is brown. I dare you to eat it. What? No! Why? Are you chicken? I want to find out if we come, we become friendlier if we eat the ice cube. Fine, I'll do it. Ugh. I don't feel so good. I think I need an ambulance. Wait, what? Get this man to the hospital, stat! Well, that's one way to get rested. Wow. Really? How? Why? Oh my gosh. They need to get that fixed. Ugh. What day is it? I better get back to work. <laughs> That, that is one way to unlock the hospital, I guess. Um... No, no, let me, let me reload my save and get back to him, okay? Okay. So it's definitely interesting that I actually have to examine the trophy cabinet to accomplish a thing. It's not labeled with... with investigative skills or anything like that. Didn't acquire anything. So I assumed it was not important. Oh gosh, it makes me wonder how many things are important and I was already ignoring them. How much time do I actually need to spend just snooping around in order to accomplish everything? Okay, so tell me about your dad. I just can't believe he's gone. He was the toughest guy I knew. 
There was always this pressure to live up to his name. I always tried to hard not to disappoint him. I just worry I let him down, and it makes me so angry. Hey, relax, DJ. I know your dad. He wouldn't want to see you like this. Sorry, you're right. I was about to say, I'm not sure if that accomplishes anything either. But... DJ's desire to live up to his dad is something that is added to Sergeant Squindley's notes. And collecting notes is definitely going to be important toward solving this mystery. Which I guess means, yeah, snooping around is kind of important. Out of curiosity, let's go to DJ's bedroom. There's no bat here. That tells me that DJ runs off to whack somebody with his whack ball bat some point after this. I wonder if there's a way to find um to find DJ and stop him from doing something he'll regret. In any case, I can't ask him about the whackball bat until I become closer friends with him. I also can't examine the posters until I go back to the research lab and increase my investigator skill. On the bright side, I now know that wearing Beeglore's uniform doesn't change the conversation with DJ. So, I'm going to go ahead and reload my save, and not put on the uniform. In fact, do I even bother talking to DJ right now? Because the conversation didn't seem to differ from day two when I visited him on my first run. Yeah, you know what? I think I will go ahead and skip talking to DJ on day one, because... Time is definitely tight here on day one. The fact that I had to just take the time to get started with the adventure. So on the subject of saving time, here's the things that I am redoing and also a few notes on what I am ignoring. First thing I'm doing is digging up the mound to acquire the Sparkety Doodad. In the Beeglore living room, I'm examining the sofa so that I can acquire the lab ID card. And before I get, we'll go ahead and examine the trophy cabinet so that we'll have that information when we do talk to DJ. And I should also go ahead and talk to Doreen. First gonna say sorry about Dex so that we can become acquaintances. Also, I need to ask that question in order to be able to ask about Dex's enemies and unlock the underworld. Out of curiosity, instead of saying Big Mama didn't do it, let's say that actually makes sense. Your theory makes a surprising amount of sense. I'm going to have to check this out. R really? Thank you. Thank you. You're the first cop to listen to me. Friend. Awesome. Okay, so I don't have to shoo Pippi Freeb away from the house in order to become friends with Doreen Beeklar. Meanwhile, in the bedroom, we're going to get Dex's tiny key and also his uniform. I'm not going to wear the uniform. But I'm going to go ahead and grab it right now, so I don't have to take the time to come in here later. From here, we are making our way to the lab. I'm heading into Gary's office. And I'm going to grab the mirror from Gary's locker. I'm also going to check his drawers in order to unlock the space station. Ignoring his computer because I don't have a password. Yet. I don't know how important it is whether I actually need to do this. 
but I'm going to talk to Werner Strappel and ask him what he does here so I can learn about his post-it note. So we'll be on the lookout for it, probably. I'm going to ask Rena what I should be doing so that I can get the experiment key card for later. In case it's vital information, I'm going to ask about Gary as well. I'm not going to get back the Sparkity Doodad, because I don't think I need to do that necessarily on day one. I am going to read Reina's notes on the reactor so I l know how to use it for future reference. And finally, I'm going to study the textbooks to increase my investigative skills. And after all that, we have saved around an hour of time. Let's go ahead and exit this place. It's going to take 30 minutes to head to the Beaglore residence. The residence area in general, rather. And also Squindly Residence. I'm gonna ring the doorbell and... We're gonna go inside. And head into Milton's room. Drop off Milton in here. Well, that's it for today. See ya, Milton. Finally. And... We don't have the option to talk with Milton. <sighs> On day one, there was an option to talk with Milton. What did I do to trigger with it? Play with toys first? Hold on. Let me reload my save and try something else. I just saved after leaving the laboratory. Huh. Apparently the toys you look at is random. Moments ago I was looking at the paddle ball. This time I'm looking at the large purple recreational bus. I never could figure out if that one passenger was a baby or a hedgehog. Why not both? Kind of think of it. On my first run, the toys I was looking at were a Transformers knockoff. Want to play together? Do I? Let's go for it. Hooray! This takes up too much time. Although it does increase friendliness with Milton. And there's the talk to Milton option. Alright, so we have to play with toys with Milton in order to accomplish a thing. However, I'll save that for some other time. So here's what I'm going to do in actuality. We're going to go ahead and drop Milton off. He's not going to be any friendlier to us, but I have a whole week to work on that. Plenty of time. Here to drop Milton. I hope you had a good time. And because I was on time, Mona has become my acquaintance. Alright, that'll be helpful. Alright, I'm gonna have to work on that dating thing. How was your day, Milton? I don't want to talk about it. Well, that's not encouraging. Uh, we'll be working on it. Trust me. Okay, I have an hour and 40 minutes before I need to meet the chief at Luigi's. And I'm gonna have to stop off at the apartment first in order to read the mail to unlock it. Uh, that's all gonna take a lot of time. Let's hope that my investigation here at the residence doesn't take too long. Though if it does, I suppose I could save this little investigation for some other time. I am going to have to actually return to DJ's bedroom in regards to that bloody bat. 
is not here yet. Neither is DJ. He will return at 22 o'clock. Not that I'm going to be using that information. I need to find a way to become better friends with him before I ask about that bat. In any case, I am really concerned that he has run off to seek vengeance against somebody for his father's death. Okay, examine posters. My investigation skill is not maximum. But I have a... I should have a pretty good chance at succeeding first try. I remember this campaign. Dex Beagler was literally the poster boy for the Moontropolis PD. DJ must have really admired his old man. Drat. I'm certain I can do this. There we go. What? But, but, but there's something suspicious about this one. A Beagler poster joined the force. Wow, look at that hole in the wall. Looks fist-sized. Somebody here must have a temper. Hmm. DJ does have quite the temper. Again, I'm really concerned about that bloodied bat. But does that accomplish anything right now? No, no, I think I'm going to save that for some other time. Actually, before I undo my bedroom investigation, I should at least check out what this poster is. Oh, and it's right here. The Beagler poster. An old recruitment poster featuring Dex Beagler. DJ was using it to cover a hole he punched in his wall. Well, not really useful information. I wonder who the other characters on the poster are. Nobody I recognize. Anyway, gonna reload my save and visit the chief at Luigi's. Though first I need to unlock it. Okay, so going to the apartments only takes 30 minutes. That's good. Check the post boxes, and we are going to check the mail. Oh crap! My save was before returning Milton. Hold on a sec. Okay, so going to the research lab to the apartments was 30 minutes. Going from the suburb suburbs to the apartments is 50 minutes. This isn't going to leave me a whole lot of time to spare, but I do in fact have time to spare. So we'll get the flyer for the restaurant and unlock the uptown area. More specifically... Luigi's. And I'm going to save again because I'm curious about something. How long does it take for me to busk for money? Time to put all that sax practice to good use. Gonna say an hour. 178 currency and tips. So I was uh, experimenting a few days ago what this level of skill with the saxophone would get me. The amount of money that I get in tips is actually random. I got as high as 299. Okay, do I have enough time to get in here? And catch the cheap before he's already uh, dining on a large pizza. Well, I'm going to talk to him anyway. Maybe I can still pay for it. Chief, fancy running into you here. 
What is it, Squidly? You're spoiling my dinner. Let me pay for your meal. Gee, thanks, Squidly. That's actually pretty decent of you. It's 200 currency. I really love Luigi's Pizza. Well, it's on me. Consider your bill paid. Okay, let's talk to him again. Squindly, pull up a chair. Great to see you. Hmm, I have 195 currency. Actually, I'm going to save Scum a bit. I want a little bit more currency. Well, that was a low amount. Let me, let me save Scum some more. At the least, I'm glad to know that taking the time to busk for tips does my does not ruin my chance at eating with the chief. By the way, holding the action button speeds up the playing process. Okay, it was kind of weird that it didn't play the saxophone during that moment, but hey, 186 in tips. That's nowhere clear, nowhere close to the 299 I did while testing, but I was having a heck of a time getting over 200 at all. Maybe I would get more tips during a busier part of the day. Hope you don't mind me saves coming like that, by the way. The way I see it, I already went on a mostly scum-free run with the first run and failed. So I really want to be hedging the bets in my favor. Okay. Let's go ahead and actually... Wait. I know you faked your qualifications. I have not actually learned that on this run. Is, was that so accidentally saved from the first run? Is there a piece of memory that Squidly didn't lose while using the time machine? Also interesting that I can make an accusation now. I suppose it's entirely possible to end the run early if you have already gathered all the clues you need. But I don't even know who I should be suspecting yet. I have a few ideas, but nobody concrete. All right, may I join you, sir? Sure, help yourself to some pizza. It's on me. Good pizza. I hope it wasn't sausage or pepperoni. Let's have, um, supreme without the meat. Alternatively, I'd accept a taco pizza. That uses beef. Actually, what am I thinking? Pineapple pizza! Just skip the ham. If I want ham, I can chew on my tongue. Anyway, that is going to be really helpful. Because... Now I don't have to worry about hunger. Otherwise, I would have become hungry right around now. As for becoming too tired, that's sometime after two. So I have maybe around four hours to do other things. Do I want to talk to Luigi now? No, no, not yet. Because eventually I'm going to want to come here and buy my own pizza and then provide a tip to Luigi. So we're going to go ahead and exit. I'm definitely going to have to take the time to head over to the donut shop and ask about that rewards card. When I'll do that, I'm not entirely certain. My main priority right now 
is to head to the ganglands and into the nightclub. Although I could stop over at my apartment and spend an hour increasing my saxophone skill, I might have enough time for that. I could max that out. Ooh, and 20 Fort Myers is actually at the ganglands tonight. All right, I'll do that next time. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Next, next one. Gotta properly enunciate.